I've been struggling with dark spots and hyperpigmentation for my acne for the past few months. I was getting so frustrated because like no matter what I tried, my dark spots would just not fade until I started utilizing these tips. So I'm going to share the changes that I made in my skincare routine that literally changed the game for me and how I was able to turn my skin from this to this. So these are the tips that literally transform my skin. One mistake I made was just relying on vitamin C and no shade to vitamin C. It's great for evening out your skin tone and protecting your skin. Keyword is preventing, but it's not potent enough to fade your dark spots by itself. So I'm going to get nerdy here for a second and share what actually causes post hyperpigmentation from your acne. That way we can actually treat it. So tyronase is an enzyme that produces melanin, which gives our skin our color. So our pimples cause inflammation, which causes our skin to produce more melanin and more pigment. And then it transfers it to the surface of your skin. So those are those dark spots that then haunt you, reminding you that you had a pimple. And I mean, it's kind of savage of our skin, right? So to get rid of our dark spots, we need to find products that target each stage of production. And so that includes we need to stop melanin from producing, we need to stop the transfer. And then for those survivors, you know, they made it to the end, we need to find a way to then slough them off to like fade them over time. So these active stop melanin from being produced, these stop the transfer, and then these increase our cell turnover to fade our dark spots over time. So instead of just relying on my vitamin C, I found products that had several of these ingredients to incorporate into my skincare routine. These are my absolute favorites. If you're loving these tips, hit that subscribe button and follow me for more Korean skincare tips. First up is the Jumiso All Day Glow Serum. I found that this really helped fade my dark spots and even out my skin tone, and it wasn't irritating at all. It was pretty hydrating. I also love the Nebusin Number no. 5 Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. It's lightweight and it absorbs quickly and it gives my skin a little glow. I noticed a slight fade in my dark spots in like two weeks, which is pretty good for my skin because usually it takes like a month or even three to six, depending on how deep and dark they are. And then we have the Anua Dark Spot Correcting Serum. It's really effective at fading dark spots and preventing new ones from forming. And I also found that it brightened and evened out my skin tone. And I like that it has hyaluronic acid and oils. So it really hydrated and soothed out my skin. So my next tip is the reduced inflammation as soon as you start breaking out. I use products like Centella, Tea Tree, and Chamomile Bags to reduce the redness and inflammation. That way I stop melanin from being produced and then I wouldn't have this huge ass dark spot to haunt me about my breakout. When I have like a big inflamed juicy pimple, I'll use chamomile tea bags to help reduce that inflammation. So boil water, steep a chamomile tea bag for about 10 minutes, throw your tea bag in the freezer for like 15 minutes. You don't want it to be frozen and then apply it to your pimple. Watch a YouTube video or a TV show and then apply your tea bag pack to help reduce inflammation. Most of my breakouts are hormonal so I had to like change out my diet. So I eat more foods rich in antioxidants like berries, spinach, flax seeds. And then I also drink a lot of green tea and spearmint tea which is great for how you your hormones. I also started taking zinc which calms down the inflammation, helps my skin from getting too oily, and reduces bacteria that can lead to acne. And I cut down on eating desserts and processed foods like ramen which sucks but I'm willing to sacrifice for glowy clear skin. I also stopped touching and squeezing my pimples. I don't know about you, but I just like love the feeling of getting this nice juicy pimple, squeezing it and seeing all this stuff burst out of it. I know that's like really gross, but to me it's like the most satisfying ever. It's like when you have bubble wrap and you just keep popping it, it's like addictive. But when I was doing this, I was damaging my skin barrier. I was causing my skin to be more inflamed and like more melanin was being produced. And so I'd have these huge ass dark spots that took like six months to fade. And because I'm an Asian girly and my skin produces a lot more melanin compared to like your typical white girl. I have to be super careful. So I had to break that nasty habit and so now when I break out I slap on a pimple patch to prevent my fingers from like lingering and like want to like squeeze and lay with my pimple. So my next tip is to use a product to increase your cell turnover and help fade those dark spots. I use glycolic acid once a week and then a retinoid during my nighttime routine. So glycolic acid is an AHA that exfoliates the top of your skin to remove dead skin cells. My favorite is this one by Crave Beauty. It has 5% glycolic acid, antioxidants, and hyaluronic acid, so it gently exfoliates without wrecking my skin barrier. If glycolic acid is too strong for you, then you can use lactic acid, which has a bigger molecule, so it's gentler on your skin. And then if you have really, really sensitive skin, then you can use mandelic acid, which is like the gentlest of all of them. If you have acne, use Adaptoline, which is a retinoid that has been shown to be super effective at treating your acne while speeding up cell turnover to help treat your hyperpigmentation. So you get a two for one benefit. You can also use other retinoid products. I know that I mentioned this in my other videos, but I really like the one by CeraVe as well as the retinol serum by Cosrx. They're great for beginners and they won't irritate your skin or cause redness. The one by Cosrx is an oil, so I would only recommend
recommend that if you have dry skin or if you love like a nice glowy finish. So the most important tip to fade your dark spots is using a sunscreen. If you take nothing else away from this video, this is the number one tip. So I'm adopted and so I didn't grow up with a Korean mom that taught me the importance of applying a sunscreen every day. I didn't wear a daily sunscreen until I was about 33 when I was getting into K-beauty and learning more about Korean skincare. Without sunscreen, you're just wasting your money. You can throw your products out and these skincare tips are not going to help because your dark spots will continue to get darker. They'll never fade and you'll get new ones. I switched from using my Korean chemical sunscreens to using a tinted sunscreen every morning. Most tinted sunscreens contain iron oxides that block the visible light that cause hyperpigmentation. When I made this change, I found that my dark spots faded more quickly. There's also research studies that show that individuals with darker skin tones, their dark spots faded a lot more quickly when they use a tinted sunscreen versus a non-tinted sunscreen. Now, don't get me wrong, these chemical sunscreens are still amazing. They're still super effective and they're better than the ones formulated in the US. So you can still use these instead of using a tinted sunscreen. But for me, when I'm actively trying to treat my dark spots, I will use a tinted sunscreen and then once I've treated them, they faded away, I'll then switch back over to using my chemical sunscreens on a daily basis. I have been trying so hard to find a Korean sunscreen made with iron oxides, but there really just aren't any. I have found some Korean tone-up sunscreens that have iron oxides, but the downside is they have a very limited shade range and they often lean towards more white milky skin tones because like that's the beauty standard in Korea. So they often leave a white cast for those with darker skin tones. I do like this Korean Tone Up sunscreen by Nubuzun. The key is to prep your skin with hydrating products. So use a toner or serum and a moisturizer before you apply it because it prevents it from pilling in your skin from looking dull and dry. So you're going to squeeze a pearl sized amount and then you're going to apply it in thin layers across your face and pat into your skin. So you'll notice at first it has like this white cast but then it blends out and then I'll go in and apply more to the areas where I have more dark spots for more coverage and then I use a beauty blender to just blend it into my skin. So to make my skin look less white I'll actually then go in with a bronzing stick to give my skin some color that way I don't look like Casper the friendly ghost. So it gives me this nice glowy skin and it looks a little bit more natural like my original skin tone color. The end result. So it looks nice, glowy, and a little bit more of a bronze finish. So here's the skincare routine I use to fade my dark spots. So in the morning, you're going to cleanse with a gentle cleanser and then apply a hydrating and calming toner with Centella to reduce inflammation and redness. So the serums that I use depend on if I'm breaking out or not. So if I'm breaking out, I'll apply azelaic acid, which is super effective at unclogging pores, reducing inflammation, and helps fade my post acne marks. Then I'll follow with the Anua dark spot correcting serum to help fade my dark spots and control my oil production. If I'm not breaking out, I'll use the Jumiso All Day Pure Glow Vitamin C Serum. Then I'll follow with the Anua dark spot correcting serum to then help fade my dark spots and control my oil production. Apply a moisturizer to lock it all in. Then I'll use my Medicube Age Art Booster to help the ingredients absorb deeper into my skin. And then I'll finish it off with my Korean Tone Up Sunscreen. So at night, you're going to double cleanse with an oil cleanser and then follow up with a water-based cleanser. And then once per week, I'll exfoliate my skin with glycolic acid and then use a hydrating and calming toner. So if I don't exfoliate, I'll use a toner right after my water-based cleanser. Then I'll apply my retinoid and then follow up with the Anua Dark Spot Correcting Serum. I'll use my Medicube Booster again to help the ingredients absorb deeper into my skin. And then I'll apply a moisturizer to lock it all in. My next tip is to be patient. So the influencers that are telling you that you can fade your dark spots in like one week are literally lying to you. Sure, you might see like very minimal results within that time frame, but usually it takes a few months depending on how much pigment you have to actually fade them. For me, it takes a solid three to six months to get them to completely disappear. But if I'm able to control my inflammation as soon as I break out, I'm able to fade my dark spots quicker. So just keep in mind that you're playing the long game and these products are not magically going to fade your dark spots. So if you're feeling like your products aren't working, they're not effective, most likely you just need to give it more time. If they're not working within like a month, then yes, like you probably need to switch them up. But if you have some extra cash sitting around and you want to speed up the process, then you can go to a dermatologist and get a laser treatment. So these help even out your skin tone, they make it brighter, and they fade your dark spots quicker. Usually you have to go in for three to six treatments. So if you're interested, then have a chat with your dermatologist to see which treatment option would be most effective for you. Comment below with any questions that you have and then let me know what products you love to help feed your dark spots. Make sure you subscribe for more Korean skincare tips. Thanks for chatting with me today. I'll see you next time.